from Mangalore after that incident took place. Well, joining us now in the studio is uh, Conan Gonzalez, who's a uh, Supreme Court lawyer and also a director of the Human Rights Law Network. Uh, thanks so much for being with us. Now, we are, of course, trying to understand what really happened in Mangalore. We've seen those images, which obviously speak for themselves, but lots of questions that are, in fact, being raised by people in Mangalore. Did the police do enough? What do you think the police could have done? Well, it appears as if the police are actually dragging their feet on this issue. Possibly the Home Minister has told them to go slow, and that's the reason why the police has not acted. This is clearly not a single or isolated case of trespass, assault and molestation. This is the case of an organization set up for a criminal purpose, namely to repeatedly assault women in pubs and so on. So it's a conspiracy to commit the assault again and again and again. For these characters, actually, the full force of the law should be used against them, which means that you should put them in, in jail. First of all, arrest them, keep them in police custody for the maximum possible period, which is 15 days. Then move them to judicial, uh, judicial custody. Keep them there for the maximum period, which is 60 days or 90 days, as the case may be. And it is only when you keep them in custody, in a police lockup or in jail, for the maximum possible period, that these goons will realize that the state is, 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 is going to go after them. In all these cases, if you look at the case in Bombay as well, you've seen these guys have got away with a token arrest. Right. They're arrested in the evening, very conveniently, and early morning they're, they're released. And that has what emboldened these people. Is that repeatedly. because of the law? Do you think it's the law that doesn't allow it? Or do you think no, it's no, there's the nothing political... to do. You think the law is in place? The law see, has those provisions in place, but it's not being exercised? No, it's nothing to do with the inadequacy of the law. It is to do with the police chief and the home minister mm -hmm. not wanting to use the full force of the law against these persons. If a case of conspiracy is made out, these guys could be in for 90 days, at least, at least for 90 days while the police investigate the conspiracy and find out who are the members of this conspiracy to trespass and assault and molest again and again and again. And it's political patronage. So we must catch the top man of this organization. There's no point just catching the foot soldiers. You must catch the top man and you must ask the Home Minister, why is it he has not used the law against these persons? That's well, what needs to be done. In this case, I mean, we've seen it's women who've been attacked, these men who clearly just walked in and decided that we think that this is not all right. So women in the sense, in this day and age, being treated in this manner, how would you react to something like that? You work on human rights uh, so closely. Well, it's part of the degeneration of our great Indian culture, let me say. We're very proud of our culture, but we are possibly one of the most brutal nations in this world as far as the treatment of women are concerned. We are a very uncultured nation when it comes to that. And, you know, it's, it's a shame to see them use. It's, it's a shame to see these criminals misuse the name of Lord Ram and in the name of Lord Ram do this kind of thing. So it's, a, it's, a, it's about time that these persons, you know, use, use saffron and commit cr cr crimes. It's about time that we really clamp down on the heads of these organizations. And when we put them behind bars and treat them as ordinary criminals, rather than as holy people and so on, yeah. when we treat them as ordinary criminals, when the criminal justice system treats them as low-down hoodlums, that's the time when these, these guys will learn the lesson. They're actually cowards at heart. It's right. okay to go in a big group and assault women or, or, or young men and so Under on. Under the garb of being in this organization. With police protection, ultimately yes. with police protection, with the knowledge that they have political patronage. Right. But they're cowards at heart. And it's when the full force of the law is used that they will really cow down and keep quiet.